Bonjour, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome again to another installment of Tomb Boom Selector. I'm your host, Jay Curran, and today I... well, not today, but the other day I had a request from a Ray Kai... K Kai Fioid, something like that, and he's suggest he's, he's requested... Sorry, I, I do like to speak the Queen's English every now and again, but it, sometimes it goes a bit wrong. <clears throat> anyway, enough of being unfunny. Um, he's asked would I do one on animating separate animations, but bringing them all together as one character and lip syncing. So this is after... So it's going to be split into about four or five different tutorials, so I don't miss anything in particular. The finishing product is going to be something like this. So I've just created a nice simple character, nothing too complicated, called Norm. And I've, I've uh, imported a file that makes him says, Hi, my name is Norm and I like penis. Because he does. <coughs> Pardon me. And I made him move a little bit. Just made him move randomly so you can see his legs move, his arms move, his head move. Um, so this is it. Let's have a go. You probably won't be able to hear that because but by the time I've done the audio for this, it will have uh, eliminated all background noise. But basically, he goes, Hello, my name's Norm, and I like penis. Just like that. And I made it lip sync up per to perfection because I'm good. So as you can see, his head moves, his arms move, and his legs move. Even his arm at the back here moves. Hello. Just like that. So it goes behind his body and comes from, from his body. Same with the foot at the back here. So I'm going to do a funky transition here. And I'm going to make it bring in a different part. Alrighty then. So a nice funky transition there. Hopefully. <laughs> if I've done it right. So, what we have, so the first thing you're going to do, just draw a character, just create any, absolutely anything you want. A penis with some arms, or a turd with some arms, or something with some arms. And then, <clears throat> don't worry about, like you got here, you can see his left shoulder, but you can't see the rest of his arm. Just draw it as if you would. Just a normal, normal uh, 2D drawing. Don't go for anything like trying to draw anything behind him. I'm going to show you how to make them feet and stuff behind them later and then bring it into a crowd animation but the first thing i'm going to teach you guys is how to lip sync now so obviously create your character and you're going to need to create also a file mp3 or wav file or whatever file for the lip sync and you're going to need to import it so i'm going to go to file import file and you're going to get up your file that you are going to lip sync so it comes to the bottom here hold on so this purple bar here is your audio file so as you can see it stretches over 146 frames so you're going to need to create a drawing that's going to extend over 146 frames, but we're not going to worry about that just right now. So go up here to Element. Nope, first, <laughs> select your MP3. Element, Edit Sound, and then click on this bit here that says Sound Element at the top. As you can see, there's a face here waiting to go. Just readjust my position. And then, but nothing, nothing happens here. It just stays grey. So what you need to do is lip sync, computing lip sync and data. So now what it's done is it's entered all these different drawings into your lip sync. So we press play. Hello, my name's Mom, and I like penis. So it's basically said my 
my audio, so it goes. Hello, my name's Norm, and I like penis. Excellent. So, pretty, pretty spot on, actually. And what you need to remember is these key elements there, these key drawings, there's eight of them all together. So you've got A, which is your silence between talking. B, which is the moment before they start talking, so they open the mouth, you see a bit of teeth. C, mouth's open. D, mouth's open a bit wider to stick a penis in. E is a O, it's like an O, but a wider O. F is a short O, like ooh. G is the F, so it's like a, it's like a um, teeth sticking in between, like biting your bottom lip, like F. And X is just complete silence, not saying anything at all. So go ahead and click OK. So now we need to make him talk. So the first thing you're going to do is create a separate drawing. Drawing two. So name the first one just Norm. For now. Norm with a big O. And drawing two is going to be the mouth. So what you need to do is you need to select the mouth on the drawing. Control and C, which will be copy. Or you can right click and copy. Click on the first line of your mouth. Click on the screen. Control and V, or, or right click and paste. And as you see, it puts the mouth exactly where it was in the drawing before. Now, if you just go ahead and delete that and click on camera view, there you go. There's your mouth in Norm. Even though it's on two separate drawings, it's there. <clears throat> so it's there on its own and it's Norm without his mouth. Also, if you click here, where his light bulb is, this highlights all the all the other drawing elements on it. And as you can see, you can see the mouth there in grey. And if you click on the mouth, you can see Norm there in grey. So that highlights, so you so you can get your mouth your mouths <laughs> spot on for the next ones. So what you need to do now is extend Norm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Extend them over eight frames. So remember the first one is one, two, three, blah, blah, blah. Click on there. If you also, if you click this next one here, this will give you your onion. It's called an onion skin. So as you can see the, the drawing now, I'll zoom in a bit. The drawing there is red, which is your previous drawing. So what we need to do near is draw the pictures. So I'm just going to cut there and load up another one with a funky transition. Okay, so I had to cut it there because obviously it's, uh, you only get 15 minutes per YouTube video. So I'll probably have to edit this down quite a bit. <laughs> but what I've done is I've created my drawing. So I've got my drawing A, which is the silence in between talking. Drawing B, which is a little bit open. Drawing C, a bit bigger. Drawing B, even bigger. Drawing E, which is a O. Uh, draw, no, sorry, that's drawing F, which is a smaller O. A drawing E, which is a bigger O. The G, which is the bite in between the lips. And X, which is not talking at all. So, what you need to do now, if you go to <clears throat> Exposure Sheet, when you create your drawings, it won't already be there, ready to go. So you need to name them, which I've already done, but you can do that yourself. So what you do is you find your drawing out of these. So this just works exactly the same as your timeline, so they are different drawing elements. As you can see, mouth, norm, and a MP3. So what you'd need to do is on the, the mouth bit is right click it, rename drawing, which then you wouldn't draw you would put in your name, which I put in B. You'd have to do that for each separate bit. Um yeah, there it is. A is missing, <laughs> but A is there now. Normally it would be like this, so you've got norm one, and then all them all them drawings are repeated. 
which you just right click rename drawing it would say there drawing one click it a norm a and then the next thing so to get all these lip synced is click on the mp3 right click on it right click on the mp3 so you go show, show lip sync which then it shows you xxxxxx because it says nothing for a bit and then as you go down you start to see all the different elements where he starts to talk and then what you want to do is right click on the top of it there go down to modify lip sync mapping make sure you select the mouth and not the actual body otherwise your body will disappear click on mouth and as you can see it's give you all your drawings there as well again just for reference click ok and then that will automatically fill in your drawings for you so if you come back click on timeline just click on the camera view get rid of the the onion skin zoom it out and then click play Hello, I like penis so as you can see his uh, body's disappeared but that's because we didn't extend his body so his body only extended to there so if you come all the way to the end on the on the non body right click extend exposure and then that will just give you the same drawing all the way through go back to the start and press play Hello, my name, name is norm and i like penis and that is lip syncing so that is pretty much the first thing you want to do to learn how to do that but normally when you're creating a crowd animation you just want to draw the, draw the drawings of the mouths first not extend anything and then or import any sound but we will run through all that on the next tutorial so thanks for watching and i'll smell you all later